Afternoon here. Afternoon. afternoon. What what are you doing here this afternoon here? Yeah. I just happened to come from UTT and to cool my head now and I see you doing this so. I'm making an offering to Mommy Water. Mommy Water serious? Yes. Wow. Well, I am actually doing my thesis on Mommy Water. You think you can tell me a little bit about Really? Yeah, because right now I'm really, really frustrated and I just don't know what to do. Like, I stuck, so I come by the river just to well, get a little clarity. Alright. And let me cover you. Down. Yeah. There you go. Because before we start to talk about Mommy Water, I need to clue you properly. Alright. Alright, so... Well, I just come from school here. Yeah. I really wasn't expecting to meet you here. But I'm thankful for this piece of clothes. Mm -hmm. wow, wow, wow. Thank you. Wow. So, yeah, who is this? Oh, what is this Mami Water energy? Mami Water is a group of spirits. Right? Mami Water is not one spirit. But because it comes from the element of water, that is a female element, they, say, they call all the spirits mummy water. But they are also male mummy water and female mummy water. I didn't know it had a male mummy water. And there are several different um, mummy waters by different names. Okay. You have right. the names of these mummy waters? So some of the names are mm -hmm. Mami Apuke, Mami Sika, mm -hmm. Mami Ablo, Mami Dabe. Papa Densu, just the name of you. So they all represent different aspects of the water, right? So mommy water is any water we. Mommy water is any water we. In some countries, like in Benin and Togo, they believe that mommy water is from the ocean. But mommy water is also worshipped by tribes in West Africa. In areas like Calabar, we have the Epi, we have Ibibio, and they worship Mami Water. And they believe that Mami Water is at any body of water. Okay. And they also worship at their homes, okay. with home okay. shrines, okay. with pots of water. And they put sacred markings on the ground to call down Mami Water. Okay, okay, okay. So it has male mommy water and female mommy water. Yes, it does. Okay. And, and all of them reside in water. All of them reside in water. Waste. Now, when we look at mommy water, mommy water is just a name that people in those areas of West Africa and in Benin and Togo call water spirits. But when you look at all cultures, they all have water spirits. So when you look at the Yoruba, they would not say mommy water, but they have Oloku, Iemoja, Oshun, and different water spirits that they would worship, but they would not call it mommy water. If you look in Europe, there are sirens, undines, different spirits that they call and that belong to the water, but they say that it's a myth. In Asia, they call those spirits Nagas. So all over the world, because water is a universal element, spirits belong to the water. But Mami Water is the expression or the name that we give those spirits in Benin, in Togo, in the coastal areas of West Africa. So yeah, you would say that Mami Water is a Yoruba energy? Mami Water is not called, or spirits of the water is not called Mami Water in Yoruba tribe or in Ifa. It's only in Calabar and Epic and Ibibio people that would call Mami Water, Mami Water. Also in Benin and Togo, they would be called that, right? But Yorubas call Mami Water spirits, or water spirits, I should say. For Loku, Yemosha, or Shun, they have Orisha names. So, I think you were telling me something before about them being in pots. Right, no, so is it similar it, to what you set up here? No, it's different. Because I am by the water, I don't need to call her down because I am by a body of water. Okay. Right, but in uh, um, Benin and Togo and in the coastal areas mm -hmm. of West Africa, they can call mommy in home water shrines with water pots and secret markings on the ground to call mommy water if you are not near a body of water. Okay. 
So this here, you know, what you have, which I presume is an offering, right? Is this a usual offering for mommy water? Yes, this is just a small offering of food for mommy water, her favorite food stuff. Sweet things, fruits, perfumes, soft drinks. Um, she likes a lot of candles, you know, calcium powder, which represents perfume also. And the money, because mommy water spirits, all water spirits, are synonymous with wealth, with opulence, with bringing blessings and good fortune in your life. So as a token, you give money, you give, some people give jewelry, pearls, different things, so you add that ashe of opulence and wealth into your life. Okay, so when I come back next time, I could put a little money here if I want to get some success within my life. You could put kind of money thing. in the water. Okay. Nothing here offering now. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. <laughs> Alright, okay. So what about the wine and stuff? Does she oh because man water energy is like wine as well? Yes, but nothing with too much alcohol. Okay, so it's more non-alcoholic. More non-alcoholic for mommy water. Oh. Mommy water is a very clean energy, very fussy energy. She only associates with good behavior. She does not like um, jealousy, promiscuity, lying, bad crime, criminal activity. She's a very clean and balanced energy. So anything to do with um, impeding your natural mental state and the way that you should operate, she would not approve of that. But Mommy Water would bless you with wealth, with opulence with money with children with good health and her children are usually clairvoyant you know they live long lives they get a lot of blessings from her you know long ago or before they would have stories where she would kidnap her children and keep them for years it does not happen like that as often as been told. Wow. But she would keep them for years to train them, to teach them her ways. So when they come back to the villages in, in Africa, they would come back with increased spiritual powers, increased knowledge on mommy water, increased spiritual vibration in order to us to help their community. So this is in I'm trying to understand your ear. So the, the, the person who is of mommy water energy will go away for a bit and be trained in the in the astral realm, yeah. Okay, okay. So it's like morning and children. Right? It's you could call it something like that. But it is known that she used to take we would not see the person for months. For months. Wow. And then the person would return to the village. Only stating that they were with them and would tell some of their experience but they would come back changed and improved spiritually with higher spiritual vibration to serve their community in her name there are also others that would serve and go to mommy water to assist others so mommy water priests and priestesses the priests are called amigansis and the female um, priestesses are called mamiasis Okay. Right, but also general um, priests of Bodu called Punans, which are males or females, also serve Mami Water and revere Mami Water to get their blessings. But I wanted to offer her some honey. Some, some honey, honey all right. Here. How how do I do this? Pour some on the fruits here. All right. And ask her to open your knowledge and understanding, and let her come to you in your dreams. Yeah, I need that here. Trust me. To give you more information and to give you blessings on, and success on your educational journey.
Yeah, like she really wants to go with me, like she wants to go with the candle too.
Mama, 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 Mama,